makes a feminist. Anger? Misery? Telling everyone your ex-boyfriend raped you even though his worst crime was shagging your best mate who you've only known for a year but you're like BFFs? While all of these are symptoms of this horrid little sickness, what really makes a feminist is a list. A feminist without a list of well-documented reasons for being a feminist is nothing and will be eaten by the larger, more dominant feminists who do have a list. So let's take a look beneath the surface of what looks like a normal person but is actually a soul sucking harpy with an inability to do anything besides moan. I am a feminist because... Well, looking like that, I doubt you had any other choice. Because being a feminist acknowledges there's a problem. There is inequality between women and men, and feminism acknowledges this. Apart from a few legal and social rights, we're pretty much there. And any inequality is actually leaning more in favour of women. Because sexism in the workplace is still a very real thing. Yeah, but it's mild shit, isn't it? And until you can change that massive bottle at the water cooler, I suggest you stay in your fucking lane. Because women's sports teams don't get nearly enough coverage or funding as men's sports teams. Well, if more women followed women's sports, there wouldn't be a problem. Because female politicians, artists and sports stars are still asked about their children when men are never asked about their children. Men don't announce their pregnancy to the press, get visibly fatter for the next nine months and then start saying things like speaking as a mother. Because you're being a girl is an insult. Well to a boy, yeah. To a girl, th th that's just accurate. Because women still aren't allowed to be on the front line in the military. Because the male instinct to protect the female would likely compromise the situation. Because women with children or about to have children are less likely to be hired than men with children or about to be a dad. Because one is about to take maternity leave and will have to be replaced while still being paid and with no guarantee of returning to work afterwards. Because there are still girls jobs and boys jobs. You want to be a sewer worker? Go and be a sewer worker. Because in some places, child marriage is a norm. Yeah, fair enough. Not a feminist issue, but okay. Because women and men should have equal access to their children. Holy shit, you must have scraped the bottom of the barrel now if you're coming up with actual problems. Because suicide is one of the leading causes of death in young men. That and having to watch America's Next Top Model with your girlfriend. Once a week, Mugtown starts to look quite appealing. Because gendered online harassment is on the rise. Yeah, from fucking feminists. Because the Catholic Church don't allow women to have leadership positions. Well, that's an obscure one, isn't it? I bet that shattered a lot of people's dreams. Fucking hell. Because some workplaces require women to wear heels. Easily argued, though. I mean, if you're not a shoe model, you're not going to get fired for not wearing heels to work. So just don't fucking do it. Because France recently banned the burqa. They did this to empower more women. I can't think of anything less empowering than telling women what they can and cannot wear. <laughs> You do realise you're talking about the burqa, right? <laughs> what the fuck, woman? <laughs> Fucking hell, the burqa! <laughs> that symbol of freedom! <laughs> because of the marketing of toys, girls are taught to be princesses and mothers, and boys are taught to be imaginative. They dress up as firemen and as doctors, and we are teaching our girls such a bad message. To be fair, any parent that tells their son they can be a princess or a mother is a fucking liar. Because of women in politics. How can we have a representative parliament when we don't have half our politicians being women? Because being a woman isn't a qualification. Because of women's magazines. Women's magazines focus on how women can please men and how we can lose weight. This is seriously insulting and patronising. Stop fucking buying them then! With no demand, there will be no supply. Because of body image. Why are women constantly told what size they should be? Fat women constantly play goofy, funny roles in films. Skinny women are constantly hated and are the target of abuse. No woman should be subjected to abuse because of their body. Even comments on women's bodies shouldn't be appropriate. Well, it's normally the chubby women who hate on the skinny women. As for commenting on a woman's body, shut up, you fat bitch. Because black women are told they're only pretty if they're light-skinned black women. Who the fuck says that? And why isn't there an epidemic of black women trying to lighten their skin colour? Because women in Saudi Arabia aren't allowed to go to football games, go to cemeteries, go swimming, or try on clothes when they're shopping. Well, that's a fair point. Kind of surprising, but we won't let it ruin our fun. Because of celebrities without makeup. 
Is anyone else infuriated about all these blog posts about celebrities without makeup? I can't help but notice how much fucking war paint you piled on though. Because women are still asked what they were wearing, how much they had drank and if they'd been flirting. Isn't it sad that it takes an actual rape victim to know that that is Bullshit. And even if it were true, men get their faces splashed all over the media when simply accused of rape. So, you know, swings and roundabouts, really. Because women can't be sexual like men. Women are constantly sexualized and objectified. But if we ever talk about sex and the fact that we enjoy sex, then it's too much information and we are seen as sluts. Oh yeah, because no one wants a woman who enjoys sex, do they? We like it when we have to pry their legs open with a fucking crowbar. Because our bodies are illegal. Why is it against the law for women to show their nipples and it's not against the law for men? The only possible reason that we would have to get our nipples out is to feed babies. Men don't feed babies. Yeah, and very few people sexualize male nipples. They are like the biggest non-event ever. Fucking waste of skin. I've slept with a girl who started fucking around with me nips and I was like, the fuck are you doing? These things are dead to me. Whereas if I sleep with a girl and ignore her nipples, I'm only going to get a three star review. Because of catcalling. Whether I want to wear a really, really tiny short skirt or I want to wear sweatpants, I shouldn't be subjected to catcalling. It isn't a compliment and it is scary. Well, there are consequences to dressing in certain ways. You can't go out in wizard robes without getting some attention. The same goes for a short skirt, especially if you're male. Because of sex trafficking, the UN predicts almost 2 million girls are victims of human trafficking. Yeah, another fair point. Would lead me to believe only girls are the victims of sex trafficking, but okay, only look up the stats you want to use, I guess. Because of page three, boobs are not news. Oh, okay, a uh, bit of an explanation here. In the UK, we have a newspaper called The Sun, and for fucking years, they used to have girls on page three who would get their tits out and talk about current events. Stuff like, um, you know, Nikki, age 22 from London, is happy Saddam Hussein has been caught. But The Sun have since stopped doing that, and to be honest, with half the shit they printed, the page three girls were definitely not the problem with that newspaper. Because of the normalization of self-hatred, Women constantly bond over their hatred of their bodies and their faces. Well, I, t I mean, at least you're out there making friends with a face like that. Because women are expected to be maternal. Not all women want to have babies and that's okay. It doesn't mean they're selfish. Nah, that's cool. I mean, seeing as it is the driving force behind our very existence, some people will find it weird that you don't want kids. But no, that's cool. I mean, we're definitely not underpopulated, so you do you. Because a man's masculinity shouldn't be defined by what they wear, their sexuality, or what job they're in. But it's only feminists who are bothered by that. So, you know, stop being bothered by it and watch the problem melt away like you wish the fat on your chin would also do. Because boys don't cry and women always cry. That's not an issue. That's just a difference and not a very accurate one. Because of forced marriage. Fair enough. Because I've been told I have mental health issues because I am a young woman. No explanation there then. Well, I guess that's feminism saying that, isn't it? Like, you must have mental issues. You're a millennial. Because women and men deserve equal pay for equal work. We'll do the equal work then. The Women's March was the day all men got a pay rise just for turning up at the office. Because in the US, a woman is raped every six seconds. Okay, most of my audience are in the US, so, uh, so let's test this. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six. Anyone? Anyone? Anyone get raped? No? Fake news! Because I believe in pro-choice. 77% of anti-abortion leaders are men. They don't have a uterus and they don't have an opinion. Oh well, that's some awesome equality then! Sign me up! Because in domestic abuse cases, people ask why didn't she leave rather than why did the man abuse her? Or, when talking about generic domestic abuse, the male is always referred to as the perpetrator and never the victim. Because there are parts of the world where women are punished for being sexually assaulted. Yeah, okay. Because approximately 3 million girls are the victim of female genital mutilation. Oh yeah, no, 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 that's some nasty ass shit. Because I want to spread awareness about feminism. I believe that if a man is abused by a woman or raped by a woman, it's just as sick and devastating as if a woman was abused by a man. Well, yeah, of course. The fact that you felt the need to say that raises some serious fucking issues. Because domestic violence is a leading cause of injury to women. More than car accidents, muggings and rapes put together. And if it wasn't that, it would be something else. There's always going to be a highest number, even if all the numbers are ultra low. 
because in 31 states, if a woman has a child as a result of rape, her rapist can sue her for visitation rights. Yeah, can. Probably won't though, you know, what with all the rape. And we do mean actual rape, yeah? Not the modern definition, which includes regretting the night before and extends all the way to accidental eye contact. Because I'm taxed for having a period. Periods are not a luxury. Well, you say that, but you keep having them. Because women make up half of the human race. And men make up the other half, but you aren't an MRA, so what fucking difference does that make? Because Malala Yousaf is one of the most brave, beautiful, and inspiring people on this planet. Who? R r hold on, hold on, hold on. Meh, I wouldn't. Because I believe in the social, political, and economic equality of the sexes. But men have no say in abortion because they don't have a uterus. Lovely bit of equality. Because if a female boss is being assertive, she's being rude. But if a male boss is being assertive, he's doing his job. They can be both. And come on, most people don't like their boss regardless of gender. These reasons are getting really fucking weak. Because little girls are constantly told they're pretty and cute, and little boys are constantly told they're brave. Well then, let's switch it up a bit, and call little girls fuck ugly, and call little boys pussies. The result will probably be the same anyway, because, let's face it, we're lying to them. The correct line would be, you're brave comparatively for your age, and you're beautiful, but I'm not sexually attracted to you in the slightest. Fair enough, there were some actual issues in this video, probably around four or five, things like sex trafficking and child marriage. But what I want to know is how your being a feminist is helping to solve any of these issues. Being aware of them is nothing. Unless the sentence goes, I'm a feminist because of child marriage and knowing about it is enough. All the word is, is a device for smugness. Don't get me wrong, there are actual feminists who do good work in places that genuinely need it. But identifying yourself as part of that group does absolutely fuck all besides give us something to laugh at. Thanks for watching guys, and remember, no one cares about women's sports because women's sports are shit.